So then, Willow, I got to ask you some questions. If we're talking about a faith that works, a living faith, not one we use for our own glory, but one we use for the glory of God, you recognize there's no plan B. Plan A is the church. Let me say it this way because I know I'm yelling. That didn't make a whole lot of sense. Plan A is you. God created you in order to do good works in his name. So when we turn around and go, man, we need some hope in the world, go to a mirror. If you said yes to Jesus, head to a mirror. We need some good news in this world, head to a mirror. So if God has chosen us as plan A, what if we, what if we didn't look at our faith as a momentary decision? Yeah, back in 93, I said yesterday. What if, what if that's just the beginning and the momentary decision was just a catalyst? What if the, the, the progression of our faith we recognize is still growing? We call it sanctification. If you like $5 and $10 words, that, there's this for the day. The process that you're still growing and that your faith can continually be active. A living faith finds itself acting out what's believed in the heart. So then I got to ask you, in whom do you believe? And what about him do you believe? A living faith is able to identify the areas that seem hard for us to step into and ask God to continue to help us surrender. A living faith recognizes when fear and insecurity get in the way 